Okay, we're going to add some um, buttermilk into our fish. And now you want to put this in the refrigerator. Okay, we're going to put together our fish fry. And I'm going to put together about a good cup of all-purpose flour. I'm not going to measure it too much. I'm just kind of throwing it together. So I'm going to go about that much. Take the cornmeal and pour some of that in there. Equally to about a cup of cornmeal as well. Let's see, I'm just eyeballing it. A little bit more. Okay. We're going to put some six pepper seasoning in there. Put some Old Bay. garlic powder. And a little lorries. Taste it just a little bit to see what it tastes like. See if it's salty. Mm -hmm. So, let me see. I'll put a little bit more seasoning salt in there because it isn't salty. So, a little bit. Okay, that looks about right. When you're cooking with uh, seafood, uh, as well as with chicken, you want to always, always, always have uh, your basin filled with hot bleachy water um, to kind of wipe things down as you're cooking to uh, prevent uh, salmonella uh, contamination. It's been sitting in the refrigerator 
in our buttermilk for about a good 30 minutes now. So now I'm just going to take out my pieces and put it in the batter and put it in the hot oil. I took the liberty in, in um, cutting uh, my fillets in long strips. Uh, today we are having fillet of sole. And um, I just simply like my fish in long uh, strips. I just like it like that. Why? I don't know. I just do. When your fish begins to float, that is when you know that your fish is ready.
from my home to yours. Bon appetit. You have a good night. Thanks for watching, family. Bye-bye.